Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to a daily dose of joy. Mm. Where we are going to dose our brains on the fly all throughout our day to day. Yeah, we're going to stay loose. We're going to uh, shake off any tension uh, and keep letting ourselves just turn our boat downstream. When we feel that resistance and that tension building, we pick up a microdosing tool. We shake it off. We laugh a little. We sing a song. Help build a little of that momentum towards joy. And if it's something big and wobbly, we pause and we like, hmm, what? Hmm, I'm feeling really hmm, this way. Okay, let me just feel that. Hmm, be with it. Move through it. All sorts of things we can do throughout our day to keep elevating our state, helping our brain to live in a bathtub of positive neurochemistry. But don't think of it as work. This is play. This is lightness. This is just um, part of the ease and the joy of life. It's cool that there's science that underlies it, but don't see these microdosing tools as a have to. There's no doing this wrong. This is a part of shifting our brains over time holding it lightly and playfully will actually help the brain be at ease and continue to shift to a more calm, rest and digest state. All right, all right, all right. Today, we're gonna use the microdosing tool called a dose ditty, ah, which has become one of my favorite tools. It's just, it shifts my, my thinking and my feeling such grace and ease throughout my day. And, when I need a little extra support, I like to remember that I am connected to the universe, to the divine flow. And for me, I believe I'm still connected to my grandfather and other people who aren't here in my physical presence, but I'm still connected to their love. And so the song, uh, Wade in the Water, I've adapted in a way to, um, for me, evoke their love, evoke my grandfather coming down and hugging me and my grandmother singing with me and letting me just feel their joy and their love. Uh, and so I find this song to be really comforting. It's also based in a deep root spiritual song. Um, so just some of the tonality or the kind of rhythmic river flowing quality evokes images of being in the flow, being in balance, being in alignment. So I hope it'll evoke some of that for y'all. I've put the lyrics in the description bar and we're gonna sing. And I play with these lyrics a lot. So I'm gonna try and do the lyrics as I've written them in the description bar this time. I think I can do it. <laughs> Here we go. But just know, big permission slip to do with this, whatever feels good to you. Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water. No one's gonna trouble the water. Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water. No one's gonna trouble the water. Who's that yonder dressed in blue? Wait in the water, someone come down to sing with you. Wait in the water, wait in the water.
water wait in the water children wait in the water no one's gonna trouble the water wait in 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 the water children wait in the water no one's gonna trouble the water who's that yonder dressed in white wait in the water someone come down to hold you tight wait in the water wait in the water wait in the water children wait in the water no one's gonna trouble the water wait in 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 the water no one's gonna trouble the water Who's that yonder dressed in blue? Wait in the water. Someone come down to sing with you. Wait in the water. Wait in the water. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, no one's gonna trouble the water. Who's that yonder dressed in white? Wait in the water, children, wait in the water. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water. Who's that yonder dressed in white? Wait in the water, someone come down to hold you tight. Wait in the water, wait in the water, wait in the water, wait in the water, wait in the water. Take three solidarity breaths. Mm. Oh. Well, I realized somewhere there I was singing one of my just improvisational feel the way through the song versions. <laughs> Whoops.
oopsie daisy. And then, you know, I, I reminded myself as I was, you know, thinking in my thinking for a moment there and said, oh, it's okay. I am worthy of being forgiven. <laughs> I am worthy of making mistakes. That was some beautiful, deeper truths that a friend of mine shared. And it really touched me. The idea that I am worthy of making lots of mistakes. And I'm worthy of being forgiven millions of times. <laughs> it's part of the human experience. We're all doing the best we can. And so we hold each other lightly and with that intention. And we also hold ourselves that way. The, the two things reflect each other. The more I find that I don't hold myself to a harsh judgment, the less I hold other people to a harsh judgment. The more I have compassion for myself and feel comfortable in my worthiness, just as I am in this minute, the more I'm able to have compassion and see the worth and the value of the people around me, just in the moment we're in. Ah, ah, um, I love sharing this time with y'all in the morning. May today surprise and delight us. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.